Hey YouTubers, uh, Farmberry Reef here. So on today's episode of the two tank builds, um, what I'm gonna show you guys today is how to build your own overflow box out of acrylic. Um, that's what I did, did on my uh, 220 here. I built my own overflow box out of uh, acrylic, black acrylic. It works great. And then you can make it any size you want. So I'm gonna show you guys uh, the whole process we're gonna do here. So I got some uh, black acrylic. I like to use black because it really blends into the background. You don't see it as much. And we're gonna try to make it like a ghost overflow. Uh, type so I'm gonna show you guys step by step how to how to glue it bond uh, your acrylic together How to cut the slits in it? So it'll have water that'll flow over it and where we're gonna place it in the tank So I got the tank right here. So I'm gonna show you guys so we got the 20 gallon tank here This is the tank we've been working on together. Um, so you remember in the other videos we painted the the back of the tank uh, Pitch black so it matches the 220 plus it really makes the corals pop so as you guys can see in the main display here um, and so remember we uh, we drilled we drilled the glass to show you guys how to drill glass and this is where we added the bulkhead for the overflow so you guys can see here it comes right up through the back so we got that there so this is this is the area we're gonna add uh, the overflow box with the black acrylic so I went and I pre-cutted some uh, some black acrylic I'm gonna show you guys how to bend this and how we're gonna add this in here for the overflow the right amount of water going over our overflow so let's go downstairs to the lab and we'll start doing this build. All right guys, so I made it down to the lab. So we got our 20 gallon tank. Um, I got my pre-cut acrylic pieces here. So this is enough to do an overflow box. You can see it's about, it's a two and a half inches wide by four inches deep. So what we're gonna do right now guys, um, we're gonna mark, we're gonna get a black marker and we're gonna mark our slits on here and then we're gonna cut them up. So what you're gonna need is your acrylic you're gonna need your bonding agent. Um, I bought this at the plastic store. You get a jug of it and you fill your applicator. Um, one suggestion when you buy this, it actually will evaporate out of the box. So what you do is you get a pickle jar, you put it inside the pickle jar, tighten it up tight and put it in your freezer and it'll slow down the evaporation process so you don't run out right away. So you'll need that. Um, you're gonna need a black marker. You're gonna need some kind of straight edge. I'm just gonna use a, a switch cover. And you're gonna need a drummel so we, to cut the slits. So what we're going to do now guys is we're going to grab our first piece and we're going to cut uh, slits in it for the overflow. Um, so what we need to do is on our on our aquarium we want to measure how much the slice that we do want to do on our overflow box. That'll judge our uh, our water height in our tank. Plus when you turn your pumps on there's always going to be a little bit more water in, in the tank so you want to judge for that as well. So I'm going to go ahead we're going to measure this and then we're going to start making our marks on it and then we're going to do our cuts and then we're gonna bond it, and then we're gonna silk clone it to the back of our tank. Right, so we got the piece of acrylic here, and I got my marker. I'm just using this uh, switch cover because it's exactly four inches, so I can actually hold on both sides. It's easier for me for a straight edge. So what we're gonna do, I measured my tank. I wanna measure it down about an, about an inch, so that'll make up for when I turn the pumps on, the water flow will rise and go into the overflow, not out of the tank, so we can keep up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mark slits on here. So I got my four inch cover. So I wanna try to keep them about, three quarter slices apart. So I'm going one inch. So I got it marked here. So we go here. So there's our first mark. That's where we're gonna take our Dremel and we're gonna cut it. So we got one mark. So we're gonna go about an inch cut. So we got one mark, two, three, Four. So now we got our four marks. So we'll take our Dremel and we're gonna slice these. So that's where our water will flow through. So let's do the same. We'll do the same to the other pieces here. I got enough here to build build for the other tank because we're doing two tanks. So we just we need the two uh, the two side pieces right here to match up. So we're gonna cut slices in these as well. So this will be the one side. So we'll probably get two slices in this one. So we'll measure down an inch. So there we go, we got our two slices. So we're gonna Dremel those ones as well. So let's do the other side to match. Guys, okay, so we got these all marked up. I just took my measuring tape. So I made everything square. I measured uh, down an inch, put my straight edge across. So we make everything look like uh, level, plumb and square. So everything looks perfect. Keep your film on it. It's easier to mark with a marker. And then when you're done, we'll take this off. 
and this way it's all squared up. So let's get the Dremel out. Make sure we always wear our safety protection, wear our safety glasses. So we got the Dremel here. So now we got to be very careful in cutting this. We don't want to get cut. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our Dremel and we're going to cut these slices. So let's try this puppy out here. So we'll keep, I'm going to keep it on a straight edge here. And we're going to cut these right through. Speed her up. So there we got one cut through guys. You just cut to your line each time. Move on to the smaller pieces. All right guys, so the next thing we're gonna need for this part of the build is uh, just painter's tape. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna peel back the edges of the acrylic so we can bond it together. The nicer your, your cuts, the easier it is to bond. So we just peel the edges back a bit, guys. This will keep our, our other part here really nice and polished so it doesn't get damaged. So we do that to every piece. See that? Just peel that back. Keep it on each side. We'll do it to the bigger one as well. So there we go. We just need to do one side of this one. Do the other side. So we take some of our tape to help hold this together. This is one of the hardest processes when you're by yourself, if you had somebody else to hold it. So we're gonna put our one piece like this. All right guys, so I got the, the painter's tape all around the edges. Um, I just wanted to show you guys before I go ahead. Um, it's, it's, you gotta be very careful. So I got everything all squared up here. I got the tape, the tape holds everything square. So what we're gonna do now is what you got to do is you got to bond your uh, acrylic together. So you're going to put your so you have your needle point here. You're going to get it right in the crack, and you're going to slowly go along. And the bead of uh, the acrylic compound is going to go right in the crack, and it's going to form as one solid uh, piece of plastic. So I'm going to go ahead here, and I'm going to I'm going to weld up a few spots, and then show you guys. So we just take your applicator here. I mean, you guys can see on the inside. I'll do it with my left hand. So you start on the edge here, and you come across. Come at a good speed, just like that. So there we go. So that's one bead right now on the inside. So let's go ahead and we'll do the other sides right now. There's two. All right, so there's three. So we're gonna let that go ahead and let that dry. And then we'll flip it and we'll do the other end back. Sorry. Um, so now we're going to do the inside on the bottom side now. So here we go. So we got our, our box pretty much made. So let's, we're going to weld the inside. There we go. I just removed the blue plastic from the inside. So let's do the other side now. It's pretty easy uh, using this applicator. So let's do the other side, guys. All right, now we'll just let that sit a bit and uh, okay, we'll come so back. So we're all bonded together there now. Um, I let it dry. Uh, so let's let's peel off the plastic and see what we got here, guys. So we're gonna peel this off with the tape. Look at that, there we go. See that? That's one overflow box, handmade, DIY, really easy. This costed me $7.80 for the plastic. So you got a bottom. So I'm gonna show you guys how to install this uh, on the tank now. 
So that's pretty sweet. Turned out pretty good. We got our one inch cuts across the top and sides. So our water flow, that gives us enough, uh, if we turn our pumps on, there's enough flow that it's not gonna go over the tank. It'll just measure out and go, just flow over perfectly without you know, worrying or spilling. So that turned out really good. So all you need was your applicator. You can get it at any of your plastic uh, stores and uh, you're good to go. So just remember when you go to store this stuff, put it in either a pickle jar or something with a good seal on it and then you put it in your freezer. It'll last a lot longer because right now as we speak, it's slowly evaporating. Um, so let's move on. We're gonna try to, we're gonna silicone this into the tank now. It's good and dry. So let's move on. So we got our overflow box built. So here's our tank. Uh, here's our bulkhead. This is where I wanted to put a center, look like ghost overflow going on. So here's the box. Here's the overflow box we made. It's all good to go. Got our bottom in it. So, so here's the bulkhead. So this is good. I'm gonna place this center of where the bulkhead is. So you guys can see that. It looks pretty good, eh? If you look from the side. So there we go. Overflow box, matches black, it's good to go. So all I have to do now is take this, I'm gonna put a bead of silicone all around here and bead on the glass. And we'll put that in here and we're gonna let that dry and then we'll be good to go. So let's, let's silicone this baby up and then we'll be able to put some water in it and do all the plumbing in the next episode. We'll do the plumbing um, and do the live sand and stuff like that in the next episode. So let's go ahead now. We're gonna silk flow. I'll show you guys up close and personal what's going on. So we had our bulkhead. This is gonna be for our overflow. And then here's the, the acrylic uh, overflow box we built. So this is where we're gonna do. I'm gonna center it up. It's gonna go right over top of the bulkhead. You guys can see that? So this is how it's gonna look. Center of the tank. So it's gonna look nice and slick. We want everything nice and square, plumb and level. There we go. So you can see the bulkhead in here. So the water will flow over the edge in these cracks in here and down and through the overflow box. So all I have to do now is measure this into center, make sure everything's centered, and then we're gonna add our silico silicone to get a nice seal. All right guys, all right, so guys. let's add a bead of silicone. All right, all right. So you guys can get any silicone from like your, uh, your, your pet stores, anything that's for uh, aquarium safe. So I got my center marked here. So we got our silicone on the edges. I got my center. So there we go. So we got that mounted. I was gonna center, center it up here, guys. And I'm just gonna take my finger along the edges and just uh, make a nice look. So it looks nice and neat. Just along the edges, guys. Just get rid of the excess. Wipe that off. And you can add more later if you want to. So now we got that silicone in, you guys can see. There's our overflow box with the silicone. So it's looking pretty good. Looking pretty sharp. I think uh, Landon's gonna like that. So I'm just gonna go aquarium. So it turned out really nice, guys. See, that's nice black. It matches the back of the tank that we painted up together. See, turned out perfect. So that's a nice uh, overflow box for uh, Landon's little reef tank that we're gonna have going on here. Pretty easy, guys. Anyone can do it. You guys in close, so we did the silicone job. If you can see the silicone on the inside, made a nice seal around the edges. So you just take your finger finger along here and just make it nice and smooth. So it makes it look nice and then do the same, same to the other side. You just take your finger along, just wet your finger and boom, gives it a nice edge. So I'll just clean that up there after a little bit more, but it shows you guys right there. So that's, that's an over, so, you know, Overflow box for like $7.80 made. Look how nice and shiny that black acrylic is. It's gonna do a really, really nice job. So if you guys have any questions or need help with anything, please leave your comments below or hit us up on uh, the Farm Boy Reef Club on Facebook. We're still growing, almost 2,500 members under a month. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna move on to the next episode there this week. We're gonna do the plumbing uh, from the basement up to the, up to the 20 gallon tank. Um, hopefully we'll get the sand in there and uh, hopefully get something going on. Landon's getting really excited. So thanks for watching guys. That's the, the DIY overflow box. All right.
So we'll move on to the next episode. And if you guys would like to see anything or any more pointers or anything, uh, hit me up. I'm more than happy to help. All right, guys. So uh, thanks for uh, checking it out. Um, please subscribe. Hit the like button. And let's keep moving on. You never know what the next uh, video is going to be. Bye, guys.